<clears throat> What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadow Wood from Bloodshot Records and Gilla Contact. Gilla Contact, but uh. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that really offended me last night. And I mean, this really pissed me off and set me off bad. And like, this is something that it's got me riled up. It's got me wanting to say something, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just make here to invite everybody in this shit. Because I want everybody to fucking see this and hear this shit. Now, as you guys know, my brother Eric is signed to Dejected Records as an artist. All right. You know, I approached him. You know, I talked talk to the main guy in charge. I was like, you know, like, look, I am looking to sign the label for a professional artist. And he was like, you know, like, we're all booked up and yada 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 because i guess they have like too many people like on the label as is all right fine you know i sat there and i waited and i waited and i waited and i waited for like several weeks and just yesterday i hit the the main guy up and like look you know like i'm tired of waiting around like i want to know about the future of my music like what am i gonna do like are you guys gonna sign me or what because you said that what i had was dope you liked what i had and you'd let me know so i asked him about it right and what does this man sit there and do says that he's got too many fucking projects going on and this and that blah blah, blah. well i'm sorry to say but i'm not just another fucking project i'm a fucking human being I am a music artist. I'm not just some fucking side project for you to throw around or toss to the side. I am done being a fucking charity case for motherfuckers like you. I'm sick and tired of your bullshit, Dejected Records. If y'all want to fucking sign me, then fucking do it. Stop treating me like a goddamn charity case. And stop treating me like I'm a fucking project because I'm a human fucking being. So start fucking treating me like it. I'm not just another one of your fucking side projects. Because let me tell you something, Dejected Records. I have busted my ass for 15 fucking years in this music business. Busting my ass. When every fucking music artist was asleep at night, what were me and Eric up doing every fucking night? We were recording, writing, 24 fucking 7. Busting our asses off, giving in everything we fucking had. Everything we had. When your little motherfuckers were sitting there and spending time with family and taking their little vacations, what was I doing on Christmas? What was I doing on my birthday? What was I doing on the memorial of my best friend? I was busting my ass in the fucking studio, giving it everything I fucking had and more. Ask any motherfucker that knows my music and knows what the fuck I've done. Ask Eric. He can tell you the same fucking shit. I have given this music industry everything I've got and more. More than what you motherfuckers could ever, ever hope to come out of with any of your fucking little shitty artists. You don't believe me? I've put more time and effort into all my music more than your fucking whole fucking goddamn roster combined. I'm sorry, but I'm not some just some fucking bullshit side project for you guys to look down upon. No, I am a human fucking being. I am a person. I am a fucking music artist. And I am doing everything for this fucking industry. I am sick of being treated like a charity case by motherfuckers like you that think I'm just some fucking side project. I'm sick of it. You think I'm some fucking side project? Well, guess what? Fuck you and screw everybody on your fucking label except my brother Eric. My brother Eric is the only one that has been there since day fucking one. 
He's the only motherfucker that has seen firsthand what I do every fucking day. And for you to sit there and treat me like a fucking charity case? Like, really? You don't think I can't... You don't think I can't handle myself on stage? Bitch, please. I've done more online shows in a fucking night than your whole entire crew could ever hope to do in a fucking week. And were they paid shows that I get paid for? No. But you know what? They're still shows nonetheless. Whether they're on here, whether they're on YouTube, whether they're somewhere else on another, on a whole other site. Because let me tell you something. There's nowhere I'd rather be than on that fucking stage performing for my fans and the people that love my music. But I will be damned if I ever get treated like a fucking side project by motherfuckers like you. I refuse to be treated like a charity case and like a fucking side project. I get enough of that shit from the mainstream labels. I don't need it from you motherfuckers too. I've had enough of this shit. So you want to talk shit and say I'm a charity case? And it's really like a project? Hey, that's fine. Because you know what? I'm going to make damn sure that my brother Eric sees just what it is that you said to me. And I'll make damn sure he's off your fucking label. Because you know what? He deserves better than you guys. 110%. If you guys don't know what's going on, as you guys know already, I messaged Dejected Records a while back. You know, got a hold of them. They were down. They liked what I had. They heard what I had and enjoyed it, right? And they told me, you know, like, hey, you know, our label is full up of artists right now. You know, we'll let you know whenever they were done. And, you know, and it's like, all right, cool. You know, no big deal. And I waited a few weeks. Literally, it's been like three, four weeks now. Before I got back in contact with them. And, you know, I hit these guys up last time. I'm like, yo, like, what's going on? You know, just checking in. You know, I was like, hey, you know, like, I need to know about the future of my music. Like, are you guys going to sign me? Because, you know, you guys said yourself you like what I had. And if you like me, you know, you guys need to say screw the cap off. And, you know, you need to bring me on. You know, as a full-fledged artist, so I can get my stuff out there, do shows and shit like that. Well, what does the head of Dejected Records do? It sits there and says he's got too many other projects going on right now. And like I said, I'm sorry, but I'm not just some other project. I'm a human being. I'm a fucking music artist. Like I said, I have busted my ass for 15 plus years in this music industry. I started when I was in high school and took it seriously as soon as I got out of high school. Like I said, I've busted my ass for this music industry for 15 years. 15 fucking years I've busted my ass for this industry. And what do I get? Treat it like a charity case? Treat it like a side project? Do you have any idea how much that fucking hurts? Like, seriously? Or do you just not give a fuck? Do not give a fuck about what I can bring to the table. Because see, what you motherfuckers don't realize is I can bring a lot to the table that you guys could get use and value out of. And do you guys not realize 
that I am currently the number one dubstep music artist in Ohio right now. Do you guys not realize that? I might not be playing any shows, but you know what? My stats say otherwise. My stats prove that I'm Akron's best. I stayed on number one on Reverb Nation from 2010 until just last year. That entire time, I stayed at number one. Yo, what's going on, Chris? And no, I haven't. I don't know what the fuck's going on with John. I'll have to message him as soon as I get off here and see what the fuck's up. I mean, he could be asleep. I don't know. But point is, Dejected Records, you guys need to stop treating people like they're a fucking project and a charity case. And start treating them like a human being and like they're actually a person and like they're actually an artist instead of like some other project. Like, the way you guys are thinking is not right. As far as, like, you know, how treating people goes. Now, you got your shit right as far as, you know, having a site up, having all that stuff. Like, the marketing, all that's legit. That's good shit. But it's your thinking of your view on people. It's your view on people that needs changed around. Because, like I said, I'm not just some other fucking side project. I'm not some fucking charity case. I get treated like a charity case by every motherfucking label out there. Because they see me. They don't see a music artist. They see some kid looking for a handout. But you know what? I don't ask for handouts. I have busted my ass every step of the fucking way. I have busted my ass for everything I got in this music industry. I have earned everything, every fucking step of the way, every fucking feature, every fucking collaboration with some of the best in the world. I fucking earned it. I earned everything. And let me tell you something. I literally started from nothing. I started from legitimately nothing. No knowledge about how to do it. No idea on how to even get started. But look at me now. Look at where I'm at now. I'm regarded as one of Akron's best dubstep artists. You can ask any motherfucker that's heard my music. Ask anyone. I have over 500 views in just one song alone, which is Please Notice Me, which isn't even a dubstep song. It's a pop rock song. And now you add that up with every fucking dubstep track I have ever put out. You're looking at over a million fucking views. Easily. And you want to sit there and say I'm a side project? You want to sit there and say that I'm a charity case? Nah, motherfucker. I ain't no charity case. I sure as fuck ain't no project for you to fucking do or work on whatever the fuck you feel like it. I am a human being. I am an artist. And I'm trying to provide for my family doing the only thing I know how to do better than anything else. Aside from my photography, the only reason why I'm not doing photography right now as a job is because the government shut down. Which leaves me no other option but to do my music full fucking force. See, you don't think about that. You don't think about, hey, this person is trying to provide for their family. I like what this guy's got. I need to give this guy a shot and help him get somewhere. Especially if I like his music. I need to help this guy. But instead, what do you do? You treat me like a fucking charity case, which I am not. And I'm sure as fuck not some idiotic bitch boy's fucking project. I am a human fucking being. 
I am the voice for the special needs community, and everyone fucking knows it. I am their voice against people like you who want to sit there and treat us like we're disposable. Because that's what you treat us like. You treat us as if we're disposable. As if we're some fucking charity project. But the truth is we're not. We're all human beings. We all bleed red at the end of the fucking day. Just like you motherfucker. I will be damned if I sit here and take this shit from a little bitch who doesn't know what the fuck he's got right in front of him. When it comes to artistry and when it comes to music. See, what you don't realize is your little label is full of nothing but rappers. But you know what? I can bring a whole new fucking sound to your fucking shit. But yeah, what do you do? You toss this aside like it doesn't even matter. Do you not realize I created a whole new fucking genre of music that the whole world fucking loves? Do you not realize that? Maybe if you put your fucking ego aside for a second and swallow your fucking pride and give me a fair shot instead of treating me like a fucking side project and actually help me get somewhere, I can show you what the fuck I can do. I can show you that I got what it takes to make it. But instead, you treat me like a fucking side project. You treat me like I'm nothing. So to that, I say fuck Dejected Records. Fuck everyone on it except my brother Eric. Because let me tell you something, motherfuckers. Kill a Clown Sounds and Bloodshot Records is where it's fucking at, motherfuckers. I will rep both of those fucking labels so I'm dead in the motherfucking ground. It's about time people know the truth. But with that being said, y'all, I'm out of here, y'all. I've had enough of these motherfuckers.